In this video, I'm going to talk about various editor settings features available within the Microsoft Loop component. Now, as you know, like Microsoft Loop component is basically a co-creation app. It allows a user to uh, co-create content with the help of the colleague and also to collect information scattered within your organization in one common place. Now, within the uh, editor, there are some sort of editor settings which will help you to have more concise and clear uh, documentation around the content. There, is, there is a feature called as a text prediction, proofing, uh, and then within proofing, you have a spell check, refinement, and enhancements. The spell check is basically spell checking the language, spelling, grammar. Uh, refinements includes clarity, conciseness, formality, uh, inclusiveness, punctuation. And then there is a new feature added called as a sensitive geopolitical references. So it will help you to track those sensitive geopolitical references and highlight those uh, items uh, so that you prepare a content in a more neutral way. Uh, vocabulary is also one of the functionality as a part of the refinement for the editor settings. Uh, enhancements, so you have a date, people and heading detection or uh, date recognition, people recognition, heading detection enhancements uh, within the editor. Now this is how the editor settings looks like. Okay. Now let me give you a demo. So <coughs> if you see this text, okay, so I've just opened one of the workspace with one page in it. Okay. Now if this is the text, you know. Now, as you see over here, this line, okay, now what does that mean is like if you over the mouse and say suggestion, insert person, open with the left click, alt, down, arrow, okay. So it gives you that sort of suggestion, okay. Now, if you click on it, here you will see uh, an editor icon, right. Now, here you can just click on stop checking for this or you can navigate to editor settings from here, okay. So if I click on editor settings, again, you can predict the text so editor anticipates the next word as well as files or other objects to insert as you type so there's a bit of intelligence within the editor being uh, showcased in the loop workspace page proofing preference so in proofing preference you can have uh, manage spell check languages so you can add other languages okay so if i select say say south africa africans okay as a language and if i add another language say let's say spanish uh, let me add uruguay spanish okay and if i click on done then it will add three different language and then i can have three different settings for these three different languages now let's look into english now in inline editing i can turn on and off the auto correct options okay or and then from a spelling perspective, if I, go, if I want to turn off spelling, I can turn this off. If I turn it on, within spelling, I can ignore words in uppercase, ignore words with numbers, ignore internet and file address, flag repeated words. So that's the functionality for spelling. For grammar, I can have academic degrees, adjectives used instead of adverbs, adverb instead of adjectives, and, and confusion, capitalization, uh, capitalization of person titles, comma after conjunction, and there are many settings uh, like incorrect tag question, misheard phrases, missing auxiliary. So all this can be configured. Now, from a refinement perspective, I have uh, clarity. So if I turn on clarity, then I can check on the adjective order, adverb placement, double negation, sentence structure, split infinitive, simpler wording. So this is mainly about uh, you know, putting a nice and precise content uh, for that uh, loop page. Okay? From a conciseness perspective, you can have a conjunction over use. You can have uh, progressive use, wordiness, words expressing uncertainty, so, so on and so forth. Now, formality, uh, you have a colloquial verb phrase, contraction, informal language, number formatting, opinion markers, uh, and then there is something called inclusiveness. So if you want to control the text based on the cultural bias, disability bias, ethnic slurs, gender bias, age bias, those all things can be uh, set from this particular editor setting. So it's a comprehensive list. Uh, catering to various other aspects of the uh, 
language which you use within the uh, page. Now punctuation is again a different beast altogether. We can control the comma with adverbials, Oxford comma, unnecessary commas, space between sentences. So those all things can be controlled. Then there is a sensitive geopolitical references which I was talking earlier. Again, this is also a nice bit of addition to have those diverse inclusivity within your content. Okay, so those all things can be checked. Uh, and then vocabulary, you can have cliches, you can have profanity check, vague verbs, vague or superfluish adverbs, conventional phrasing, collective nouns, uh, and so on and so forth. Also, from an enhancement perspective, you can turn on the date recognition, people recognition, and heading detection. Now, uh, as you have seen in this example, if you see a person's name, then it can recognize the people and then it will allow you to tag that people. Okay. Same goes with heading and same goes with date. Heading is mostly, mostly used for table of contents. Date is basically used to render some date within your, uh, uh, within the context of that particular page. And also, there is a nice option to reset to the default. Okay. So like this, you can configure this editor. Now editor settings is basically for the entire page itself. Okay. So it can be, the content can be in any of the uh, text which is there as a part of the page now how to navigate to the editor setting is like if you start typing something say if i type some text okay so let me type this text and make this mistake okay now it will throw you this error and it will uh, start giving you some information okay now if i make some mistake okay so let me write this some text 33 and say text one okay and let me select this text again okay? so let me add some of the text is missing okay so this is like if i forget to put a space then if you see over here it is giving me this editor option i can ignore this i can add to dictionary or i can show the synonyms or maybe manage language or maybe just navigate to the editor settings so if i go into editor setting again i'll be presented with the screen and then i can put the uh, whatever controls i want with regards to the editor and then i can format my content accordingly so that's it folks this is all about uh, editor settings within microsoft loop thanks for watching